Enrique Walter went back to his trailer and returned seconds later with several photos, one older than the other, and each a representation of his family's legacy performing in the circus. The first he offered was the oldest. White cracks in the emulsion obscured the image, and the edges had frayed, but the clown grinned like the frame had been shot the day before. My grandfather, he said, a clown and acrobat. The second shot offered a better archival quality, but still looked old. The clown kicked up a leg like Red Skelton in his 1960s variety show. This one's my father, Walter said. Finally, Walter pulled out a third image, another clown. That's me, he said. It was shot at a recent performance in Orange Cove. He wore a bowler hat, striped shirt, and a single suspender. The Walter Brothers Circus Big Top transformed the vacant lot at the corner of 7th and L Streets in Sang last week. The final shows are today, Friday, and over the weekend with two shows each, Saturday and Sunday. Enrique Walter is the patriarch, but his sons, Jonathan and Gaston, are the heart of the operation. They also perform acrobatic stunts worthy of America's Got Talent and do whatever is necessary in the show. Their circus has been playing small venues since it left home in Vegas in February, and everybody has multiple jobs. They plan to continue their West Coast tour until November. My grandpa, my dad, they performed in the circus in Argentina, Jonathan said. I was pretty much born into the circus. My kids are the fifth generation. Sanger folks began to notice as soon as the circus convoy arrived, and it didn't take long for word to spread, Jonathan said. Once they start setting up early in the morning, everything is usually complete by midnight. The show, as they say, must go on. By Friday at noon, the ticket office was open for business. This is the best life in the world, Enrique said. It's a tradition in the family. And it's a great show. The acts are world class, he said. The show features magician Diana Quintanilla, who uses big props and takes one empty cage briefly obscures it and inside reveals two little girls to the audience. Her daughter, Ayelin, 10, performs a trapeze act. And then there's Bela Tabak, who performs on a motorcycle in his globe of death. Somehow he's survived after all these years. He started riding motorcycles about seven or eight. He's a little bit more than 40 now. Google his YouTube videos for a sample, and he speaks Hungarian like a native. The Walter family has been performing in their own circus for the past five years. Before that, they had been saving up their money to branch off on their own, following European-style traveling circus concept and focusing on smaller venues like Sanger, Orange Cove, and even Barstow. Much of the current show centers on the efforts of Enrique and Jonathan too. Their tramp-style clown act connects much of the skits in the show. They interact with the audience quite a bit and delight the children. Previously, this group performed with other circuses. About the turn of the century, the Walters got the call from Circus Circus in Vegas and decided to leave their native Argentina. Great-grandfather John Walter originally emigrated from Germany to Argentina at the tail end of the Depression. There, he continued his act and launched the South American edition of the family tradition. Tabak said, in that era, clowns lighten the mood. You can never go wrong by making them smile, he said. Jonathan said, when he and his family first arrived in this country, the casino put them up in a nice hotel. He and Gaston remember sitting in a room, looking out the window and wondering where they should get dinner. The big question on their minds was whether anybody would speak Spanish. I didn't know, Jonathan said, referring to the predominance of others in the area from Spanish-speaking countries. From their window, they could see at least one restaurant that appeared promising. It was a jack-in-the-box. Once they got the courage to head down and enter the establishment, they quickly realized their fears were unfounded. Just about everybody spoke Spanish, Jonathan said. Jonathan works three years with Cirque du Soleil, but, con but it consumed all his time. I wanted my kids to follow me into the circus, he said. Lacking the time to give them to train, he put them in gymnastics, but it wasn't the same. Each of his children now play a role in the operation. Desiree, the oldest, is a contortionist. Jonathan, 11, is also a clown. Devonay, 6, plays the role in the magic act. Johan is the smallest clown of all.
Did you enjoy our show?